Hi there. My name is John Holden. I graduated from the University of Connecticut in 1992 with a bachelor's degree in ornamental horticulture. In 1993, I started Land Designs Unlimited. I design, install, and maintain landscapes for homeowners in Upper Fairfield County, Connecticut. Today, I'd like to share my passion with you. In the last video, we talked a little bit about shears, and in this video, I'd like to talk to you about saws. And the first thing I'd like to do is talk to you about a few saws you shouldn't use for pruning. This one right here is called a bow saw. This is a great tool once you get that uh, branch off the tree, or maybe if you've got to take some weight off the branch, but it's not a precision tool. This is made for productivity, so I wouldn't recommend using one of these guys to physically prune. This is a crosscut saw. It's made for carpentry. Great tool for carpentry. Wouldn't use it to prune. This is a sawzall. It's made for demolition. Again, not a pruning saw. What you're going to want to use when you're pruning in a landscape, whether it be you know small or large branches, is uh, is a pruning saw like this guy here. And when you're buying a pruning saw. You're just going to want to get, you know, as sharp and as comfortable of a pruning saw as you can find. Once again, I'm a Felco guy. I love my Felco 600. I know there are plenty of other brands out there that make the exact same saw. The nice thing with this Felco is it fits comfortably, comfortably in my back pocket. I can just take it right out and prune whenever I need to. I can easily cut a three to four inch branch, not all day, but if I've got a random branch I need to cut. But, you know, stuff that's about the size of a finger, anything I can't get from the pruner up to about three inches, this is the tool. If I'm going to be pruning some shrubs where there's a lot more branches to prune, what I'll use here then is a saw like this. And this is just a, a, a larger size Felco pruning saw. And the thing about pruning saws uh, is your pruning saws are going to can you read that? See that arrow? When you're pruning, you actually are cutting when you're pulling the saw. But you really want a, a pruning saw that's going to get into those small spaces. It's going to be comfortable, lightweight, and just razor sharp. And again, Felcos are awesome. You can buy replacement blades. They're not cheap. It's almost the same price as a new saw. But whenever that saw gets dinged, you're good to go. Now, one thing you may notice on the scabbard of this saw here is it says branches only. A nice trick is if you're, you know, if you're digging a hole for something and you bump into a root, is you can certainly use a pruning saw uh, or a saw to cut the root. I think it's a lot easier than using an ax. But the only thing is what I do is I keep one pruning saw for branches and one pruning saw for roots because once you ding a rock with a pruning saw it's going to be um, pretty much the end of the blade. You want to keep that pruning saw blade razor sharp. So that's a little bit of discussion about your pruning saws and once again folks you know just buy a Felco 2 pruning shear and just buy a Felco 600 pruning saw or whatever the latest model is. Next, we're going to talk about reaching new heights when pruning. You know, what do you do when you need to prune a shrub that's 10 feet off the ground, or you've got a giant tree hydrangea and you want to prune that?